This is my passion. This is my love. This is the heart and soul of Monsoon Live. I think the journey for Demon Monsoon Live really goes back to its origins, which was in June of 2002, I ended a show called Teen News at my high school, and then I said, okay, show's done, what's going to happen? And there was this college, Over County Community College, they had a radio station, and the very first show ever that I'd ever done on radio was in October of 2002, and I named it Monsoon Live. And we played all this music, and for three years, we did it. We, we celebrated life, in a way. Um, I had some great moments on there. I met folks. Um, I developed my speaking skills. Um, again, I didn't know about autism until, until much later, but that was the beginning of it. And, you know, it evolved. And I did... 500 shows in three years unheard of back to back to back and I know the very first show I did after my dad died was emotional I did one when my grandmother was dying because I found out about it. she was dying and I was like what and then the first show after that was just emotional all those emotional and then the final show because the next day was a snowstorm and they closed everything down. So, Monsoon Live for three years was radio based. And that's just one of the little linchpins of its legacy was we were there for uh, three years at a community college. And that's how Monsoon Live started. Well, then you had the transition, you know, that dark period from 05 to 2012. I would do little, you know, highlight shows or something on what was called MySpace. And then I did, in 2012, I started doing more weather reports. And I said, maybe I should bring back the old show. And I resurrected it. In 2012, when Superstorm Sandy came up, and I said, this is how it's going to start. And it started out in a church basement, the Foundry Church, and I remember covering it, the show, the election, and said, this is going to be historic, and we had a great time. It was a great moment for all of us, and then came... one of the turning points, I started doing videos on YouTube. And we started posting those on YouTube. And they were now called Monsoon Live. And Monsoon Live was now in bed on YouTube. And I'll never forget, you know, we used to do a boxing match when I wanted to do boxing. And, you know, we had graphics to it. It was great. It was fun. I interviewed fighters. And then when I got into pro wrestling... I stopped doing the show for a little bit, and I said, man, right at its peak is when I stopped doing what I loved. So I went into quietness, and then that's when everything really did change, was when I brought it back for its second in, in creation. So it was cool. It was, it was fun for a couple years because I got bloody noses and then pro wrestling kind of took over that. So 2019, I resurrected the show again because of Joshua Jacob Jones and said we're going to beat the crap out of him and we go to Colorado all that. And Street Beefs opens the door for me to do the first to do this. And then came going to Tennessee, Boxing Gage, Gage blowing up my nose. And that's when I knew we had something. 
when we started pushing the envelope and saying this is how we're going to do the show no more graphics we're going to talk to fighters we're going to share the world and celebrate autism and celebrate everything that's when everything changed and I think what really got me was when I renamed the show Demon Monsoon Live and since then it has taken on a life of its own it's you know the most talked about thing when you see Demon you know it's going to be an epic show and every show always keeps getting better and better we raise that bar every time so that's the history of the broadcast is it was created in 02 three years on radio 2005 to 2012 had its doldrums came back from 2012 to about 2017 and then it quieted went away resurrected it back in 2019 and here we are today I think if I had to tell somebody like my experience doing radio and all this is you gotta up it every chance you get you've gotta be better than what you were the last show you've gotta up the stakes even higher and produce the quality that people want and what people love and you know I've taken beatings for it Um, I've been a bloody mess because I've upped the stakes every time and I think that's why it is. Now, people have asked me, why do they love watching a show? Because they see somebody doing what they love. They see somebody following their dreams. And the best advice I can give to anybody in this day and age is up your game every time. When I fight, I up my game. I make it even better than what it was. And, you know, I'm looking back on this 15 seasons, 20 years. It's like every time we did a show, it was better than the last show. It was better than the show before that. The next show is going to be better than this show. And that's why I love what I do. It really... It's the greatest job in the world. You know, sit in that driver's seat, be the host, asking the questions. And every now and then, giving the glimpse of what the world looks like outside of autism and showing struggles. I mean, we've taken a show all over the place. And every time it gets better and better and better. And I think that's the beauty of it. Um, we just keep upping the st- standards. Um, I want the cool moments. I want the moments. It's, it's, that's what it is. It's, you know, every chance I get to be in front of the camera when it's for Demon Monsoon Live or now the Demon Warrior, you push the envelope. Push it to a new level. And that's what we've done. Every time. And that's what you need to do in life. Now, a lot of people ask me to go, what is it like to do a show? And I said, I write the script and I change it up every five minutes. There are some days where I throw a script out and I just go balls to the wall and we, we see what happens and those are the shows that you're like you watch them again and you're just like as it should be and I think that's what gives people that comfort is we up the stakes every chance we get we transform transcend what we're doing why we're doing it what is this show? Why does this matter? I mean, the the show with Wicked and Matt, I literally just came up with it on the fly. And it was that special. 
those are the shows that are special when they're coming off the fly and you let the spirit move you. Or when Madness and I were talking, you let the spirit move you. That's why we do it. And we have what an amazing journey. 15 season, 20 years. And there's not a better place on earth than, you know, to do it. That's why we do it.